For years and years, the status quo has been the exact same thing. If you want to play a video game, you have to pay for it. What is up everybody? My name is Andrew, Hustle Millennial, and if you're new here on this channel, we talk about general finance, investing, and just all around ways that you can make more money, either getting into a better situation or getting out of an absolutely terrible one to begin with. Now, today we're going to be talking about blockchain gaming and furthermore, cryptocurrency, the cryptocurrency market, NFT tokens, and how all of that can come together and make you a passive income. Because that's what we want, right? We want a passive income, something that you don't have to pay a ton of attention to, but it's still going to earn you money. Money. Now, if you're someone that happens to be completely new to cryptocurrency, don't worry, we are going to cover a couple of definitions and terms that will get you at least a little bit of familiarity with cryptocurrency, blockchain gaming, and what exactly NFT tokens are, and of course, how they can start earning you money. Now, if you are completely new to crypto investing, there's a link down below for Coinbase. Coinbase is the cryptocurrency wallet or bank you could say that I do store transfer and trade all of my cryptocurrency in you can buy a wide array of assets there many different types of cryptocurrency crypto coins and tokens from Bitcoin Ethereum Litecoin and so forth and as a bonus if you use the link below kind of as a thank you it will double the sign-on bonus that you get so when you sign up for a coinbase account you'll get anywhere between um, generally about $5 in Bitcoin for free. Just as a thank you for signing up with the code below, you'll get $10 in Bitcoin absolutely free just for signing up. So first up, what exactly is blockchain gaming? Well, games in general have to be hosted by a certain network or place. Now, many of these applications you see on the Google Play Store, those are hosted by, you guessed it, Google. Okay, things that you see apps on the iOS Play Store, those are hosted by Apple. So there's many different hosts for games and one of those being blockchain. So the blockchain covers many different things from currency to software development to many different applications. But one that we're talking about is blockchain gaming. So when you hear blockchain gaming, just think, okay, it is a game that is hosted on the blockchain network. It has nothing to do with Google, nothing to do with Apple, Microsoft, any of these different engines. It is just simply hosted on and by the blockchain and developers that are writing software and games on the blockchain. Second, what is an NFT token? So an NFT or a non-fungible token is a token that is used as currency on these blockchain games. For instance, the game that I'm going to be showing you in a second here, actually we're going to show you a couple of them, but the one that I've been playing mainly is called Lost Relics IO, and the NFT used in there is called Engine. It is the engine token. Now one engine token currently is worth about 30 to 31 cents USD. That means if you get a weapon drop in the game that is worth 10,000 engine token, which is possible, there's more than a few of those in the game, okay, some go up to 20 or 30,000 engine tokens, okay, so if you get a weapon drop that sells for 10,000 engine token, you can then trade that. 35 cents or, or 30 cents rather per engine token USD you can transfer that on an engine wallet Okay, you just made $3,500 okay between 3,000 to $3,500 for that weapon drop complete RNG you went in you killed a mob or you killed a monster you completed an adventure opened a chest you did something and you just made $3,000 and yes people are doing this on the daily that engine token is the NFT or non-fungible token which runs on Ethereum. Now stay with me here. Okay, so Ethereum is this network that houses all these different programs, okay? Inside of the Ethereum network is this engine token, which is the NFT. Now, there's many other games doing this from 
um, Upland to Mega Cryptopolis to Nine Lives Arena. Um, there's many, many different games that are doing this. Another one is Decentraland. Now on Coinbase, you can actually invest in the Decentraland currency, which is mana. So one mana right now is equal to about 13 cents USD. And if you wanted to buy a plot of land in Decentraland, it would cost you about 8,000 mana or around eight to 900 USD. Now, when Decentraland first started, these tiles were being sold for 10 cents a piece, which means if you had gone in with $1,000 before and bought $1,000 worth of 10 cent tiles, each and every one of those 10 cent tiles is now worth Worth a minimum of 800 US dollars and yes these tiles are being transferred traded sold and bought multiple times every single day right so what is up what are we looking at right here this is the Decentraland marketplace and I'm not gonna waste your time and spend a bunch of time in here but I just wanted to show you these are things that are actively selling 8,000 mana 8,500 33,000 mana 100,000 mana, 479,000 mana. These things are selling. Now, just to give you an idea of what people are willing to pay for virtual things, there's a game called Entropia Universe where a user spent $6 million to buy their own planet. Now, on this planet, they monetized all the resources, all of the shops, all of the businesses, all of the land, everything. So anytime, any player, anywhere does anything on the planet that is owned by this one player, they get a kickback. Blockchain gaming, gaming in general, is becoming something entirely different. Where you're paid to play the game. And that's just mind-blowing to me. So this is a Decentraland market, and it's not only land being sold, okay, there's wearables, Names, avatar names, 5,000 mana, 2,500. If you want to be known as that martini guy in Decentraland, you got to buy it. Now, what is this? This is domaining. What is domaining? Domaining is the hype. Okay, a guy built hundreds, people built hundreds of millions of dollars in businesses from domaining. They went on to sites like GoDaddy. They bought up all these domains that they thought would be hot years down the line, and they became multi-millionaires over buying a name and reselling it. And that's essentially what this is here, just with names. Okay, So it's domaining, just done in a little bit different of a way. Alrighty, so this right here is the account page of the game I've been playing for about three days now, maybe four. I think it's three, but it might be four. This is Lost Relics. Dot io and I recommend everybody get in I I don't have any affiliate for it I don't get anything if you start playing but I think you might get something and that's what's important here I think you might really get something now you don't have to invest anything I have invested about 450 about 450 dollars into this game in the last three days but I'm gonna show you what I got for that so things in the blockchain universe are truly unique okay like any other game on the face of the earth if there's rare items everybody has the ability to get those rare items okay it's not the same on blockchain on blockchain say a hundred items a hundred of one item so take this inferno blade right here okay you see right here, 122 of 242 remaining. That means 242 of this weapon were created and no more will ever be made. Ever. That's it. Once 242 players get a hold of this weapon, unless one of those players wants to physically sell it to someone else, nobody will ever be able to get this weapon again which drives those market prices higher now this right here before I go into that I want to show you the total account okay estimated market value of all items is 2051 ENG so that is the engine token now I can take this engine token right now trade it for ethereum and then cash out to my bank account with cash within about 20 minutes 30 to 40 minutes if the blockchain is running a little slow.
but right now I could probably cash it out in about 10 to 20 minutes. But what is that value? So I said I put $450 into this game. Um, you can see right here I did the calculation. So right now ENG, I'll do it again. So right now ENG is worth about 36 cents. It's like 0.365 or 0.368. So 36, 37 cents. So we have 2,051 ENG is what our account is worth right now. If I just market sold, which I could do, if I just market sold at the lowest price, 2,051 is what I would get. Multiplied by 36 cents a piece, okay, because that's USD value. <laughs> Not uh, 36. Oh, there. Hold on. It is uh, $738.36. I realize I need to put that in the screen. Um, so where are you guys? Let me see if I can add this here. Uh, let me go window capture. Yes. Uh, we're going to capture the calculator. We're going to throw it up here. Yes, I know I messed up. So what we're doing is we have 2051 times 0 0.36. Okay, we have $738.36. I've put about 450 into this game, which means in the last three days, I have profited $288.36. That is absolutely crazy. Um, if you guys would like to see more about blockchain gaming, about play to earn cryptocurrency gaming, um, let me know in the comments below. I've been trying to expand a little bit as not everyone is having success with Amazon, but I know for a fact that everyone can have success at something online. Whether it's this, whether it's Amazon, whether it's eBay, whether it's affiliate marketing, uh, whether you are day trading, your options trading, whether you are doing wholesale real estate, whether you are drop shipping, there's so many different ways to make a good living online without working for someone else. So here I am expanding, trying to show you guys more uh, possible ways. Uh, as always, hit that subscribe button if you are not a subscriber. If you are a subscriber, scroll down and hit the thumbs up button or like this video as that's what helps this channel get noticed. And that is really what I want. I want to get out to more people, get out uh, and, and help more people. I mean, that's all it is. Like I said, there's not, it's not anything I get for you playing this game. Um, but lostrelics.io is that. There is other ones like Nine Lives Arena. If anyone is wanting to uh, look up more of them, there is also uh, just go on Google and type in play to earn blockchain games and you will find a big list. There's about 20 of them right now. It's still a small uh, community. It's still a small space, um, but it's it's even more profitable because of that. Now, Earth 2 on that spectrum, Earth 2 is the same thing. Um, I will show you guys here. Let me actually pull this up. If I go to my Earth 2, because I know some people have been asking about this, this is the same thing. They're going to come out with the Earth token. I believe that's what it's going to be called as rumor speculates. Uh, let me make sure you guys are still here. Yep. Okay. We're still in that screen here. And this is my account, $2,008. Okay. It has risen um, 106%. Uh, and I started this beginning of January. So about three weeks ago, I started investing in this. And the return is uh, a little over $1,000 right now. And, and I'm still putting money into this. There have been numerous people that have cashed out and had great success. Um, I know there's one guy that started with about a grand. He was one of the first people in, and he did cash out a little over $100,000. So that is absolutely incredible. Um, if you don't think it's possible, all tiles started at 10%. And right now, if you had bought 1,000 tiles in the USA for 100 bucks. Okay, it is now uh, $41.69 per tile. Your $1,000 would be $41,000 if you had invested in the beginning. Uh, same with like Germany, your 10 cent tiles would now be $25 each, so on and so forth. Blockchain gaming, cryptocurrency gaming, play to earn gaming is going to be a massive space and I don't want you guys to miss out.